uh, new wiring on the top keyboard now. Um, I've just used a technique called lacing, um, where you use uh, a, a piece of um, special lacing cord uh, to tie all the wires together with. Uh, I just think it looks nice and neat and it's kind of easy to do um, and that's how it was done originally as well. Uh, but of course you could use those little plastic zip ties or uh, that stuff that wraps around whatever you have to hand and, and whatever you feel more comfortable with. Um, just as long as it's all nice and neat at the end of it you don't want to have a bird's nest that's going to get tangled up and caught on things. Um, so that's our top keyboard done. Uh, the next thing is to get the wires routed round to the position for our encoder. Okay, so looking at installing our encoder now, um, this is the interface board uh, which the encoder board plugs onto. I um, don't know if you can see there's these, these pins that stand up and it plugs down on top of those. Um, and then there's all these solder pins around the side which our wires connect to. So the thing we need to do now is to identify um, out of our bird's nest of wires here which goes where. Um, so that we can connect them to the right pins. So first of all I'm doing all of the notes. Uh, so there are three keyboards and there are three lots of 12 notes. So that's 36 wires we can get rid of straight away. Uh, and I've done the first two. So this is the top keyboard um, C and the top keyboard uh, C sharp I've connected. Um, actually no I haven't. I've done C sharp and D. Uh, I haven't found the C yet. Um, and the way I'm doing this is to just randomly pick a wire out of our bunch here. Uh, and then connect our meter, test meter, one lead of our test meter to that end of that wire and then what we do is that we lift up our stop tray and then we come around to the other side and we lift up our keyboard or keyboards but start with the top one got to start somewhere uh, and then using our uh, the other test probe from the meter we just work our way along until we find um, which lead it is so that's the fourth one in so what's that C C sharp D so that's D sharp so we know that that wire that we're connected to now is going to connect to the D-sharp um, connection on our board. So, it's a bit tricky to uh, move it around and hold the camera at the same time. Right, there we go. So what I'm going to do now then is I'm just going to cut this wire to length, uh, solder the end onto our board in the, um, the position number four or our D-sharp position. Uh, so I'll do that and then we'll come back afterwards.